Hand pie. Seen one, take one. Hand pie. Oh my god, it's sexy. <laughs> Can you see all the layers too? Oh, it my mouth. I'm just excited to taste it. Hey y'all, I'm Tina K. Younger, but I go by Teeny. I'm 21 years old and I absolutely love to cook. I just graduated culinary school and I never thought my life would pop off like it did. I went from making dinners with my boyfriend on TikTok, to writing a cookbook, to competing on Next Level Chef. Making food from scratch is my love language. I like to follow my heart, putting my own spin on things, and letting my creative chaos do the talking. I'm definitely not graceful, and sometimes I get a little messy, but when my food hits that plate, and you take that first bite, you'll know it's made for love. This is From Scratch with Teeny. All right. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys recognize what these are. My favorite flavor is the pizza one, just because I love cheese. I'm really excited to make this because it's kind of like a blast from the past, just something I grew up on. Elementary school, middle school, I would literally just pop one into the microwave, just wait for it to cool down because these take like 30 minutes to cool down. It just has a dough, a pastry dough, and then inside there's a filling. This one happened to be pizza because pizza is one of my favorite. So that's what we're gonna be recreating today but I'm gonna add more than just a pizza sauce and some cheese. So what I'm making from scratch today, I'm gonna make the pastry dough, I'm gonna roll all that out. For the filling part, I'm gonna go heavy on like the toppings that I would have on top of the pizza. I'm gonna add some fresh veggies in there. I'm gonna saute those vegetables. I'm gonna add some color to them, just more flavor. I'm gonna add as much cheese as I want because I love cheese, some pepperoni, and I'm gonna make my own marinara sauce. It's gonna be garlicky, herby, and then we're going to form it all. I'm gonna make a little pocket, and I'm just gonna make it taste delicious. So when I get started on my pastry dough, it's a rough puff, fast, and quick version of a puff pastry. I'm not a fan of puff pastries, so if we can make it quicker, that's what we're gonna do. I have 250 grams of butter and 250 grams of flour, one to one ratio. I'm gonna add the flour in, some salt, just a few pinches. Mix this up real quick, make sure the salt is nice and incorporated. Now I'm gonna add my butter. This is unsalted butter. So this is cold, but we're still able to, you know, mash it a little bit. We're not gonna make these like pea-sized pieces how you would for like a pie dough because we're gonna be folding over multiple times and then it's just gonna really help the baking process. Just more of a, just quick mat. Oh, last one. I hate puff pastry because it requires a lot of time, a lot of muscle. I don't like it in culinary school. Um, I made it one time and I absolutely hated it because you're just constantly chilling it, taking it out, rolling it, doing that like five more times. So we are gonna do a little short step today. All right, so I have it all mashed. I'm going to slowly add my water. It's about a half a cup of cold water. So as I do that, I'm gonna just go in with my hands. So you don't want to overwork it. I have it just like this, just enough so it kind of all sticks together. I'm going to um, wrap it up and then put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. So these are going to be my fillings. I have green bell peppers because they're nice and sweet. They have that green color and I think green and red just go perfect together. So I have shiitake mushrooms and I have some chopped up pepperonis. I'm a peppery girl. Pe pe pepper, pepper, pepperoni. I have some mozzarella cubes. <laughs> I'm a cheese girl. While the rough puff is in the fridge, chilling, I'm gonna saute my pizza filling, so I'm gonna be sauteing my green peppers and my mushrooms. I'm sauteing these first because I want them to be a little soft, and I just feel like it adds a little bit more flavor. That's what I'm going for, a nice golden brown color. All right, turn to them over here. I'm gonna saute the bell peppers. I'm just gonna add some color on this and I'm gonna transfer it to this baking sheet. So my veg, they're all sauteed. I'm gonna start on my pizza sauce. So I'm gonna make a nice garlicky, herby pizza sauce. So I'm gonna add some crushed tomatoes in there. I like garlic, so I'm gonna put about like five cloves of garlic in there. Five cloves of garlic in there. Add some onion powder. I'm gonna add some dried oregano, a pinch, I don't know, how much you want. And I'm gonna add a little bit of red chili flakes, some salt, 
the good thing about this is I get to um, take control over how much garlic I want to put in here. All right, add some pepper. Now I'm gonna process it up, make sure it's all blended. That's perfect. I'm gonna go grab the dough and roll it out. All right, here's the dough. And before I start, I'm gonna get the stool because this is gonna be using a lot of upper body strength. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. And you do wanna work quick with this dough because it has a lot of butter in it, so you don't want it to melt. I'm gonna form it into a square. Make a rectangle shape. So you're gonna have to add a lot of flour underneath just because there's so much butter in here. It's gonna stick. So the tears and wears doesn't matter because we're just gonna be folding it over and then bringing it all back out. I'm gonna fold it over. I'm gonna do trifold. So one there, all that flour, I'm gonna brush it off. All right, so I'm folding it to get the layers, and so when the butter melts, there's steam, and that's where you get the lift of the puff pastry. So now I'm going to flip it this way. In baking class, we just hit on all like the puff pastry, the croissants. My favorite part of baking, though, was like the chocolate part. So I kind of wanted to be like a chocolatier, just because I like chocolate. So this is where the bench scraper comes in, because see it's sticking. Just gonna put it, fold it over. This is a part that does take time, and you do need some patience. I don't have patience, so this is perfect for you if, um, if you do have patience. Because if I could do it, you could do it. I'm gonna wrap it up in the plastic wrap just like this. I'm gonna put it in the fridge, let it chill, let it harden so we can roll it out again. All right, here is my dough. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour and then I'm gonna roll it out. All right. So it's definitely a lot more harder, so it's easier to work with. But we don't want to touch it that much because my hand is going to melt the butter. Yeah, definitely harder. If it's too hard when it comes out the fridge, you can just use your hands to warm it up a little bit just to make it softer. Like I can already tell right here, it's already getting softer. So use my warm powders. I also just think it's the lack of just muscles. Kind of like I'm giving CPR. I also used to be a lifeguard too. I used to do so many things. You used to what? I used to be a lifeguard. So I'm like giving CPR to things. <laughs> Luckily I didn't have to save anyone um, because I was not that good of a swimmer. I, I know, I was a lifeguard, but um, I only was a lifeguard at a four foot pool. So, and I was just trying to make quick money. I used to work at like 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. and then go to school. It was terrible. All right, yeah, this is a lot thicker. We're trying to get like a quarter inch thick, and I'm still learning when it comes to pastry, so I just learned a new technique. If you like down, out, and then do it again. It makes it a lot more even than what I was doing before. <laughs> All right, so I got it to the thickness that I want to, and I'm just gonna clean up these edges because I really want them to be nice, sharp rectangles. All right, so this is the thickness I wanted, so now I'm going to attempt to cut them into eight even pieces. Start in the middle. There's a low curve on this. I just gotta go with confidence, there we go. We're gonna start assembling it now, so we get to add all the fillings, we get to customize it exactly how we want. So I'm gonna start with my pizza sauce first. Spread that all in there. I'm gonna do my mushrooms. I'm gonna add some of my green peppers. And I'm gonna add my pepperoni and my cubes of mozzarella. Oh, that like fell perfectly in there. All right, I'm a cheese girl, so try and add as much cheese as I can without it just falling out of the side. I'm making sure I don't get the sauce or anything over here so they don't just overflow and all your fillings just come out. All right, my fillings all done. I'm gonna get the tops on and get them all closed up. I have some egg wash right here. I'm gonna put them around to kind of seal it up. Use my finger. 
It's gonna have egg wash, so it's kinda um, gonna be used as a glue just so it sticks together and it doesn't all just melt out on the pan. Now I'm gonna close them up. I'm gonna take the top and I'm gonna put it on the bottom like this. Use a fork to close it up just by pressing the edges. I'm trying not to get that filling too because I want to keep the filling inside. All right, I'm going to try my best to move this onto a sheet tray so I can put them in the fridge to let chill because I want to let these chill before I put them in the oven just so that butter, you know, melts and creates that steam, which makes them rise. So these have been chilling in the fridge for a little bit. So now I'm going to add some egg wash. I'm going to poke them, add some parm, and put it in the oven. They're going to be delicious. So in my egg wash, I'm just using garlic powder and some oregano just for the extra flavor. Give this a little mix. So we're poking the holes to try and let the steam out because if you don't poke holes, then they might burst. We don't want that. We're trying to keep the filling inside. So I'm going to add my egg wash. Egg wash is gonna make it nice and golden brown too. That's what we like to see. And you can see the seasoning, that's what we want too. More flavor. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flaky salt. Also just makes it look more fancy. This is what the store-bought brand does not do. We're gonna add some parm on top of it. Just a little, a little parm. Now it's time for these to go into the oven. Let's cross our fingers, make sure they don't explode because I want all that filling to stay in there because it's gonna be nice, ooey gooey, tasty, flavorful, all in our mouth. All right. All right, they're all done and they look so good. Look at the edges, like nothing's coming out, nothing's spilling out. They're nice golden brown. We have the cheese on top. We have the extra step that you can get store-bought and they're just bigger than the store-bought. So I'm just so excited to taste them and eat them because I just know they're filled with really gooey goodness. I have to do ASMR first though. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Ooh. It looks good. It just looks fresher to me with all the greens. I'm about to get a really nice bite. Before I do that, I want you to press that subscribe button, press that like button, comment below, only positive things. All right, now let's eat it. Oh my God, it's sexy. Mm. Oh my God, it's so flaky. And see all the layers too. <laughs> oh, burn my mouth. Yeah, it's like pizza. I mean, duh. But it's so good, it's so buttery, and so flaky. And it just flakes away in your mouth. It's so much more fresh, like, oh. All that love I put into that dough, all that effort, all that muscle. 110% worth it. The sauce is super easy. I literally just had to blend it together in a food processor. I think it's a good 9.5 out of 10. This is a little too hot. That's the minus 0.5. And if you want to make your own, you can freeze these and then you can put it in the oven, still a meal to go, just like what you had in your childhood, but just a little bit better. This was definitely worth it. I loved every single part of it. You should definitely try it. Just so much better than from the store bought. And thank you guys so much for watching. This was From Scratch with Teeny. Oh my gosh, I did it on the first try! <laughs> Yay!